Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Andy Rich, and welcome back to another episode of Andy Rich Plays Subnautica. In the last episode, we made the man cave, and it looks super dope, and I'm pumped about it. Love how it looks, love how it turned out. I'm just brimming with manliness. I've never been more manly in my life. Um, yeah, it feels good to be a man. In this episode, we're going to transition a little bit, transition out of the manlyhood, and we are our goal for today we are going to head on over to our good friend the lost river our old nemesis and can you stop interrupting me please easy go and from there we are going to um words 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 we are going to see if we can find a cuttlefish egg I received a little tip from a good friend of mine that there would be, okay, in the, I think it's called the Alien Illness Research Facility or something like that, or the Alien Research Facility, the place that I needed the purple tablet to unlock, I don't know if you recall that, I recall it, so who cares what you think, right? Just kidding, you're the viewer and you care, it matters way more what you think than what I think. Um, in there, I missed probably the most important thing I could have possibly missed, and that is a cuttlefish egg. Cuttlefish, if you don't know, are a species that is all but extinct in the world of Subnautica. Um, there are no live cuttlefish in the world. They are all deceased. They no longer exist. However, there are, as far as I know, four cuttlefish eggs in the world. So it is our goal as the caretaker of this planet, I guess. We're not really the caretaker, but you know what I mean. As the one of the only intelligent, empathetic life forms in this planet, it is our duty to, ouch, to not hit the wall and to restore the cuttlefish to their former glory. So what's gonna happen right now is as I ramble, I'm making my way down to the Lost River and we are going to take a peek into the alien research facility and see if we can't happen upon those, did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Happen upon those, uh, that cuttlefish egg. I'm not sure exactly where the cuttlefish egg is per se. And like, I feel like I did a pretty thorough look around the alien illness research facility. I forget exactly what it's called to be honest. It's something like that, alien, alien illness research blah blah blah, something like that. Um, I took a pretty good look around and I didn't see it, but I also, I wasn't really looking for eggs per se. I was more looking for like things I could scan. So probably in having my scanner out, I wasn't really paying attention to eggs that I could scan. So what the heck was that? Oh, was that an ampule that just darted past? I thought that looked way too small for an ampule, but I could be wrong. I usually am, so whatevs. Um, so I believe, yeah, okay, Lost River. Uh, we need to keep our eyes peeled on the left side for the alien research facility because I remember the door was somewhere on the left. It was kind of out of the way. Like, I think it was off of the main path, but um, I don't remember. Screw off, Mr. Warper. I think, I don't know. Well, we'll keep our eyes peeled. I think it's around this area. I recall it being near here, but we'll just have to keep going along the walls and seeing if we can find it. So, um, in the life of Andy Rich, I got a job for the summer, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's okay. I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that I got it and I'm very excited about it. Um, definitely a positive job and something that will both benefit me and benefit others, so I'm very excited for it. Ooh, my frames are suffering. What the heck? Should we just give... Do you need some time, computer? Do you need some time to recuperate? Whoa, sorry, wall. Yeah, there we go. Feels like we're better again. 
So the good news is that I got the job. The bad news is that my job it will require me to, it's at a camp, and it will require me to live at the camp, which means that I won't be able to upload daily. Now, don't be alarmed. Andy Rich episodes will continue. Uh, however, instead of it being daily uploads, because there's no way in the next, because I'm leaving in about a week, exactly a week, yeah, because I'm leaving next week, Tuesday, there's no way I'm going to be able to record, okay, well, let's, I'm gone for two months, which is 60 days, half an hour per day means 30 hours of content, give or take, which is a lot of content for me to make in a week. Um, that's like literally just raw gameplay footage. That's like two and a half days of the seven days I've left of just playing and I'm working full time while this is happening. So like, it's not really practical for me to do those half hour long episodes and set them for a daily upload schedule. So I'm going to aim for weekly, uh, maybe bi-weekly, maybe I can do, we're too far. There's no way it was this far. Because that's the tree of life and the tree of happiness. So let's... We're too deep, I'm pretty sure. So let's go over here and see if we can't find it this way. Have I been this way before? Is this a different entrance into the Lost River? Uh, I want to find the cuttlefish first and then we'll do a little bit of exploring. Also keep an eye on our power. Our power is very good right now. Our power is at a ripe 86, so... We don't need to worry about power for now. Ouch. I see alien things over there. That's making me hopeful. So let's go over there. So yeah, um, I will be attempting to upload on a weekly basis. If that's like my goal, if I get, oh, here we go. What the heck? I haven't seen this, have I? Oh. This, is this alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Okay. Cool. Um, I don't... Do I get distracted by this? That is my question. Um, I think I do. Let's take a little gander and see if we can't find a way in. Nope, not there. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Sorry. Detecting an alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads, caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Oh, that's what I like to hear. How do I get in? Let me in. I want to see some hazardous life forms. And materials. Hello? Where is the entrance to this thing? Also, how is this still broadcasting if this plummeted to 700 feet below sea level? Like, does that not confuse anyone? Do I have a power cell in my inventory? Oh, I put it away. Bummer. That would have been good intuition on my part, but alas, nothing of the sort. I'm confused. I don't see an entrance into this place. Maybe I need to get out of the sea moth and take a closer look. What about in here? Oh, jeez Louise. That actually scared me. My time's already up? Are you kidding me? I've barely done anything. How was that already 17 minutes? Well, let's take a little look-see. Man, that dude scared the poop out of me. Like, actually, what is this? Huh. Oh, my heart. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm going to cut because we don't have much time. I'm going to cut the episode to when I find a way in. See you guys in a sec. All right. So thanks to the magic of the internet, we found the entrance. We're going to just stick our noses in. Not get too comfortable, but figure things out. We got a free ion cube here. We take those. Um... I don't know exactly what to expect. In this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. 
Yikers, that's terrifying. Alright, so let's keep our eyes peeled for interesting things. Wow, it's like... Egg. Sea dragon egg. We got a rib cage. Ray specimens. Cool. A mo a mo amoeboid, I think. Cause there's like amoeba. Oh, oh, that scared me. I was thoroughly spooked. I was like, what is this mechanical noise that I hear? Uh, what is this? Data terminal. Damage report. Okay. What the heck is this? Skeletal remains. So this is the guy that killed everyone, I guess? Yikers. We'll keep our eyes open for interesting things, too. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. A self-scan, you say? Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Oh. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. That doesn't sound good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, my hands! Am I dying? Oh, jeez. What the heck? That was freaky. Guys, I don't know. I have to end it off the episode, though, because we spent so much time yabbering on. We'll explore this a little bit more. A part, this will be a two-parter, I guess. We'll figure out what's going on in this alien base. I'm curious. I'm also dying. So, curious and dying. Not the worst place to be, but also not the best place to be. That's kind of how we're leaving it. You guys will find out what happens in the next episode, and I find out what happens in like 10 minutes. So, haha, -ha, sucks to be you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. Tell your friends about it. Um, I'm always looking to grow the channel, and I'd appreciate it if you gave your friends a little shout-out as to what I'm doing here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.